I'll be putting the uh, solid state drive into the uh, laptop and then I'll be installing the Windows 10 and we'll see how fast it's running on the uh, solid state. Well I burnt the Windows 10 uh, image to the disk now I'm just gonna boot it up put the disk in the machine push F9 Okay, we're at the first screen. Uh, Windows, Evaluation, Copy, Next, uh, Install, uh, Accept the Terms of Use, Push Next, uh, see this new solid state drive, just click it on. To this point it's taken about 8 minutes. Okay, it took around 15 minutes to get to this screen here. This is the first screen. This is what I got here. While I was setting up the screen resolution, um, at first when you when you go on you got to sign up with your Microsoft uh, account and that, but you can switch it later to a local account. That's what I did. Okay, I'll show you just how fast this Bing comes up here. There, that's it. That's as long as it takes. That's pretty quick with this uh, solid state. Close it off again. Try it one more time. Uh, MSN. Okay. That's good enough to test that. And then I put a shortcut for downloads, pictures, videos, but I have nothing in there yet. And there's the start screen. It's got you. You have some settings that you can play with here. Well, I'll show you what my computer looks like here. Uh, I go to this computer, this PC, and yeah, that's what that looks like. Now, if you want to make a shortcut, uh, just drag it over here. See, I've made one for the PC. I drag that over. And then, if you want to change the icon, properties, change icon. This is the uh, the Windows player that. Don't go your way, and your best decision is to ride the rails like a hobo. <laughs> Leonard, I am overwhelmed. Everything is changing, and it's simply too much. I need to get away and think. Sheldon. Yes. I'm gonna miss you. Of course you are. <laughs> Just made that easier. And if you want to add one, right click, add to start, right click, add to start. And I guess you can keep filling it up all this way here. I've installed a program called Classic Shell and I'll show you what it does here. Okay, it removes all the watermark and it gives you a start screen. Uh, you can uh, right click settings and it'll give you uh, the classic, uh, classic with two columns and the Windows 7 look.
And if you right click settings again, they're all up in here to customize. If you want the Windows 8 look, start screen. <coughs> Pardon me. To get back, to get that start screen, properties, start menu, and uncheck this.